hello everyone welcome to our youtube channel in this video we will discuss about the forging process and its defects so what is forging process first we will see so forging is a metal working process in which uh, useful shapes is obtained in solid state by hammering or pressing pressing the metal and so this uh, useful shapes can be obtained by pressing uh, the metals or hammering so there are three kinds of uh, forging process in which useful shapes are obtained that is uh, hot cold and warm so what is the difference between this hot and cold uh, like uh, if the process if the forging process is done above the recrystallization temperature so that is called hot forging and if the process is below the recrystallization temperature that is called the cold forging process so it is one of the oldest metal uh, working art with its origin about uh, some thousands years of back and uh, some examples of shape obtained by forging process that is uh, crane hooks and connecting rod of ic engine spanner gear planks etc so these are the few pictures related to forging processes in which different uh, shapes are obtained so what are the types of forging processes so three most common type like open die forging closed die forging and press forging so in case of open die forging there is no constants available so these kinds of like this is the uh, initial uh, step and uh, when we apply the forging process so open die forging is like this in case of closed die forging the constants will be available at the sides like you can see and uh, in case of press forging so this is the schematic related to the uh, press uh, forging so other important types of uh, forging processes that is uh, hot upset forging roll forging rotary sw uh, swaging so this is also the type of forging radial forging rotary forging and isothermal and hot die forging so this is uh, as i told you uh, when the temperature is greater than recrystallization temperature then this uh, isothermal or hot die forging will happen so uh, the defects related to the forging processes or while during the uh, forging so this unfilled sections cold shut scale pits die shift flakes improper grain flow and surface cracking residual stresses and incomplete forging penetration so these are the most common defects available during forging processes so we will see uh, briefly in details about the unfilled sections so the unfilled sections defect can be because of the improper design of die or uh, improper heat treatment of metals next one is cold shut so uh, this is the picture schematic for the cold shut uh, defect so cold shut defects occur in the forging operation when unable to uh, fill the work piece at the corner of the in or the, of the complete die so like uh, this one this will create the cracks third one is scale pits so the scale pit defects cause low strength of the forging operation because in this defects of uh, the slag or some dust particle available in the die and uh, we do not clean before the forging operation then the scale pit will form and it sticks to the forged metal like this so these are the next one is die shift so, so the unfilled sections defects can be because of the improper design of die or improper adjustment of die so to overcome this defect we must have a good design of the die or uh, adjustment also flakes the flakes defects can cause because of the fast cooled of the upper die which unable to make proper forced operations so these are the defects which can also be found in case of uh, forging process improper grain flow so this is due to improper flow of metal during the causing uh, during the casing process which changes the predefined grain of the product structure it can be avoided by the performing better design of die surface cracking so the reason for this one improper temperature provided to overcome these defects you must provide the required temperature for the working metals like uh, this surface cracks next one is residual stresses so the reason for this defect is the fast cooling of imp improper parts to overcome these defects you must do proper and slow cooling of forced parts 
incomplete forging penetration so this is also the one defect so while hammering on the workpiece by hand due to improper hammering this uh, defects generates because that is not homogeneous so to overcome this you must do proper hammering on it so uh, thank you so much